Hi, I'm Gary and welcome to Jargon Free Help. As you can imagine, I get lots of questions emailed to me to answer on this podcast. And this week, Malcolm from Man Financial in Ilford wants to know about keeping his costs down when he travels abroad. There are two things here. One is the data roaming, which is picking up email, looking at internet, maps and all that kind of thing. And I've already done a podcast on that, so you need to go and have a look at that. If you click on episodes on the website, you'll see that there's data roaming there. It's also mentioned in Are You Ready For Your Holiday, which is a recent one too. So check that out. Data roaming costs can really go very high when you're traveling. So really be careful there. Things like maps use a lot of data. But he's also concerned about calls that he'll get because if I call him on his mobile and he's away, he pays the call to the country that he's in and that can be very expensive. So he wants to know how he can keep that down. Well, one thing I do is I use Skype. Now, Skype is great and many of you are thinking, I don't need to hear the rest of this because it's just computer to computer. It's not. What I suggested to him is that you can get an online number. That gives you a landline number and that's available in many countries like Australia, America, UK and many others. And what that does, it gives you a landline number, you dial that landline number and it rings on your Skype. So how does that help him? Well, he gets that landline number and then what happens, people ring it, he connects to Skype at his end and if he is connected it will ring just as if he was getting an incoming call from someone on Skype. So that's great. He doesn't pay any extra costs. How much does it cost him to get that landline number? Well, if you're in the US, I think it's about $60 a year. UK is about £35 a year. And I think it's also, if you want to note in euros, is €50 a year. That's a really good idea. And it gives you another line. And you can switch it on and off. It comes with voicemail too. So if Malcolm's away and he gets a call on that line and he hasn't be- and he's not logged into Skype what happens is he gets a voicemail message he gets an email telling him that he's got a voicemail message so he knows to log in this can really keep your costs down now i use one anyway so i don't have to have a second line i can pick up my calls anywhere i have that app on my mobile which is an iphone and with that i can actually pick up my Skype calls anywhere as long as i have a wi-fi connection although sometimes it works with 3G. So that is a great way of keeping his costs down. Now, there are many useful features on Skype. If you don't know much about Skype, it allows you to talk over the internet for free, and I'm going to be doing a podcast with more about this very, very soon, so stay tuned for that. But this is a really useful feature for Skype. And now on to this week's App of the Week. Well, this week's app has got to be Skype. I've probably mentioned it before, but you can get it on so many mobile devices today, including the iPhone, and there's so many others as well. And it's really great. People call you on it, and you can answer their calls, and you can talk for free. All you need is Wi-Fi. They are allowing, in some instances, 3G connections as well, but I don't think that's going to last long. But Wi-Fi is certainly cropping up everywhere, and it's great. You can also do video calling on it as well, which is great. And I've seen that Skype now are allowing you to talk to more than one person at a time and see each of those people. They're just testing it. You can download it. It's what's known as a beta, so check that out. And now on to this week's new tutorials. Well, in this week's new tutorials, I'm just going to add it. I'm just in the process of finishing it off. It's one for those of you who are interested in creating websites and about what's known as search engine optimization, SEO. This is basic SEO that you can use. Now, SEO companies normally charge a lot of money for this. And to be quite honest, a lot of it is very simple and a complete and utter ripoff. So I'm going to show you how you can get to the top of those listings. If you would search for me on Google, Jargon Free Help or Gary Schwartz, you'll see I come up near the top. I don't pay for any sponsored links. And that's what this tutorial is all about. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.